Good morning. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Bronx Porch Homestead. And you are hearing the wonderful noises of urban life. It's a Friday, and they started drilling at 7 a.m. So, hey, guys, this morning I'm out here with Nick. He's our beekeeper, and he's going to be checking on our hives. Um, so, I don't have my suit on because I'm doing the filming, <laughs> but he's going to take a look at them. And we're getting very close to the end of the year. It's a little bit cool out, but still warm. Um, so, we're going to check them out. So this is the hive that is a little bit less active that we saw, but then David said that he put his ear on it and he said that there was um, kind of empty. Kinda empty? Yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe the queen is no longer in there. So Nick says that it looks that the pie was kind of empty. So we'll deal with this in uh, just a minute. We'll deal with the, okay. the other hive. So being that it's empty, we worry about it in the spring again, or what do we do? Um, we're going to have to uh, take some precautions to save all the cone that's in there. Okay. Uh, and any honey that's exposed, we need to either move to this hive, or we need to do something else with it to store it. So, um, okay. Uh, but we'll, like I said, we'll look at that in just a moment. I want to make sure these bees are looking good. And, okay, uh, great. So this one is taller because we added from there. We took two and we added them here. Yesterday these were when the sun was out here. They were they were uh, bet, yeah. uh, they were flying around. Ooh, that's much better, no? Oh yeah. Much better. So the honey that was harvested here, um, we have been selling it as a fundraiser to a nonprofit, and also we have taken some of the honey ourselves and have been enjoying it. And is it worth the investment? By all means, um, I do it twice over again. Honey, when you harvest it in your own local area, it's just amazing. Ooh, look at all that. Ooh. Very nice. I start to pull frames out, they're going to get a little bit more um, uh, eager to fly around. So just okay. uh, take that in mind as I pull these out. That's a warning for me. I'm not wearing a suit. <laughs> I've been stung a few times this year, but that's probably my own fault for sitting on them. Just a honey frame I'm getting out of the way so I can get to the rest. Okay. So I'm gonna pull back just a little bit. This is looking at each of the panels. No, 
how to appreciate the, the uh, both natural environment here of bees and the drilling behind me. Very industrial. So for anyone who's thinking about having a beehive in an urban setting, um, ideally I think we have more of a more outdoor space than the most urban housing unit would have and so maybe this would be in the back or on the rooftop but they're flying all around him now quite a bit of them are flying around him The beekeeper is looking um, at the hive um, as the owner of the beehives. I'm self learning through uh, the web, uh, talking to him. And it, it's, it's time, it just takes time to learn everything that there is about bees. And I'm sure we don't know every single thing about bees. Yeah, this hive is definitely active as opposed to the other one where he said that um, there's hardly no bees in the other one. This hive, this hive does have a few small hive beetles. Oh. Those little black things. Okay. Um, which generally, generally if we just see a few of those, it's not a big deal. I'll go ahead and kill these guys. But, but there's three of them. That's not a big deal. No, usually we would see a lot more okay. if it was if they were really overrun. So I just squashed them. Oh wow. Okay. So those are called hide beetles. Yeah, small hide beetles. And that's from that from the first um, beehive on the right. Uh, the, the hive on the oh, left. that's on this side, okay, on the left. Yeah. Okay. Hey, ladies. <laughs> Let me stand back here a little bit just so that I can show the rat traps. So while the beekeeper is doing his thing, um, I'm looking around. There's a lot going on in this little backyard. So we do have the two rack trucks, which by the way, we didn't catch anything last night. So I know sometimes we see these things online and you know, you see the hats going in. Reality, we're gonna leave these out for the whole time. Uh, maybe put some peanut butter a little bit on the ramp so that, you know, it encourages them to go up. Uh, we're going to keep trying because rats are teachers of habit. So let them keep seeing it there, going around it until eventually they will use it. So now he's, so now Nick is um, looking into the other one that is all the way to the right. While he does that, being that I don't have a suit and I'm also um, documenting what he's doing, I'm also out here with the um, rabbit fertilizer. So while he does that, I'm shaking away the pieces on the bottom and then I put them in that green sifter over there. There's definitely a process. A lot going on and it's not even 9 a.m. So Nick just brought up the attention that on this particular hive, um, he showed me a frame where he said that the um, honey was being robbed. 
and that they didn't do a good job with um you know with not leaving that evidence behind so he gave me a choice of either harvesting the honey or just adding the extra honey onto here and just building up but normally he said he likes to keep the hives in the winter down to three boxes but he feels that in this time uh it's okay to put another box on there um and you know i guess we'll see so morning david you're back yes i'm back hey hey nick hey good morning morning So he's uh, checking out the, he's, he's giving the uh, hives a, uh, a checkup and um, he says that this hive is inactive, not doing, not doing well. The other hive is great, but this one is not doing well. And he showed me a couple of mites in the other one, so, so far. Uh, mites in that one? No, no, just a couple of uh, what they call hive hive mites, like yeah. three or four, but uh -huh. not a not anything to be concerned about. A beekeeper's job. Now he's gonna put it on the other one. So he took the honey comb, the, the combs that were filled with honey, put it in a, a, a box, and now he's adding it on. I tell you, having a beekeeper uh, help out, at least for the first first two years, I think, because I'm gonna I'm gonna keep having it for next year too. Is really it's a you know, I think it's something that just has to go with a new person, with a person who has new beehives and they've never done it before. So personally, I am an urban homesteader and I'm, if I'm going to take on, um, you know, livestock, even bees, I want to know what's the best care because I want to be responsible. Um, so my responsible thing to do is to hire someone who has got much, much more knowledge than I do about bees. All I know about bees is that they make honey and they sting. That's pretty much it. That's my, my whole knowledge of bees. As is? I'll use the lids to kind of uh, cover them a bit, but okay. they will be fine. So this hive is done. Mm -hmm. There's no bees in there. Correct. Did we transfer? You transferred over the honey in the honey ones in there. Right. And we're just stacking these up. Do we have to wash these down or anything? Nope. Uh, in fact, we're putting them up on end, and we're gonna have uh, them set to where they get some light and some airflow, so okay. that no other. Uh, creepy crawlies decide to live in them okay. and um, and then they will be good and if you want to start another hive next year then you'll be set all set to do that and okay uh, yeah definitely all right yeah okay so. very good matter of fact I may even I'm gonna ask him about starting a third hive because I was thinking maybe one two and maybe three Maybe we can have three hives here next year? Hmm, I gotta ask them that one. Temperatures will kill anything that is trying to uh, live in there. So this is how you put a non-active hive to rest. Right. Uh, <laughs> this is one way of many ways. But this is one way of This many is kind ways. of the cheapest way and easiest way to do it, so. Okay. Um, you, there are some places that are already selling, uh, where you can already pre-order packages, 
like we got this spring. Uh, so you can do that. Um, you can usually I like to get packages ordered by the end of January. So you've still got plenty of time. Do, to, do you recommend we continue with that hive again? Uh, it's all it's in good shape. There's nothing that's diseased or wrong with it. So what do you think a, actually happened? Um, I think I think they might have uh, succumbed to the varroa mites, uh, and in particular probably the viral the viruses that the varroa mites transmit. Oh, that's why you're seeing a lot of them on the floor. I it could be um, the uh, fact that there's no bees in the hive. There's not even, there weren't any. All right, guys, so I have not formally introduced Nick, even though you have seen him in the videos and welcome him into Bronx Porch Homestead. And um, it's exciting because we are looking forward to work, working with him again next year. Um, but in the meantime, I know I've been getting asked questions in the community itself um about about nick and his services uh, so my name is nick hefley i'm uh the head beekeeper for aster apiaries uh we're an urban beekeeping service provider and honey producer here in new york city um, we work with folks just like uh, liz and david uh all over the city uh, helping with people either learning beekeeping or fully taking care of their hives for them um, we do uh, beekeeping services in all the boroughs uh, and even a, with a few clients in Westchester. And uh, other than that, I manage about 60 hives around the city and produce honey and uh, we do presentations and talks at schools and all that fun stuff. So uh, it's really cool being an urban beekeeper, especially in New York City, because there's really only a handful of us that are doing it as a full-time gig. Uh, in a city so big, it's pretty cool to have such a novel job. And in a city so dense and with all the development, I mean, you guys have heard the amount of construction we have nearby. And to have Nick look at beehives as all this is going on, it's just, it's just incredible. And also to get all the knowledge. All right, um, so thanks. Absolutely. Well, that was the beginning of our day. Until the next time.